Hi, the Hi. time has come to crown the winner of Reddit's Lip Sync for Your Life. Six? Six. Oh. Six? Four? Four. Four. Oh. <laughs> Take two. In the future! <laughs> We're That's traveling like into the future to crown the winner. Now, so, so it's been quite a season. Uh, Joan Waters is season joining two. us here. Season two winner yeah. of Lip Sync. The Tyra Sanchez of Reddit. Yep, without she's even got her flippers on. <laughs> 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 nah. And, and after I, this, we're so going to film a Let's introduce ourselves uh, here. Yeah. I'm Fausto Fernos, and I do a show called Cooking with Drag Queens with Mark Felian. That's me. We also do a podcast called Feast of Fun, and we've had all the winners of the Lip Sync for Your Life contest on Reddit uh, as a guest on the podcast. And we look forward to having this year's winner be a guest, uh, too, if they speak English. Oh, what? Man. Cold. <laughs> what? Cold. Uh, so so uh, on Cooking with Drag Queens, we just finished filming an episode with Joan Waters. That's where me. We're going to be making a macaroni and cheese pizza. Mm. It's so good. It is good. <laughs> and we're also capturing the squalor that Joan Waters lives in. So don't think just because you're a famous drag queen <laughs> means that you are going to be able to pay your bills on time. Uh, or live in a palace. That's up right. in, up until this time, cooking with drag queens has all been about opulence. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Grand been about yeah. it's been about uh, money, expensiveness, <laughs> and now you will see a new side, jo- a hoarder's side. Joan, what are some of the highlights for you on this season of Reddit Slip Sync for Your Life? Like, what is the, the season, go- four. season four? The, this past twelve weeks, because it's really. It's incredible that all these contestants, you know, up until the time they get eliminated, they keep continuing to churn out a video, one video af- after another. There has been some really amazing work. Uh, Gloria has done a great job hosting. I think the themes have been really exciting this year. The Gloria spoken- Swan Song? That's correct. Say her name. Say Gloria her name. Gloria Swan Song has done a fantastic job hosting this year. And the themes she's chosen have been so exciting. The spoken word lip sync I thought was a really great week. Um, having some people throw out some reality television realness is mm. always fun, and I ate that shit up. There's been a lot of dancing this year, which I am not a dancer. I was crazy for those club kid looks, too, because that's like that's one of my favorite parts of drag is just like that wild craziness, not so much the fishiness. Now, Lip Syncing for Your Life is a lip syncing competition, mm-hmm. right? So anybody can participate in it. If you don't you have, have to be lips. a drag queen. <laughs> What? If you have lips. Yeah. Now, if, if you don't win, have lips, draw them on. If you want to win Reddit's Lip Sync for Your Life contest, it helps to be visually interesting, to have charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent, and resourcefulness. HPV. HPV. <laughs> Never <laughs> and, hurt anybody. And resourcefulness, <laughs> the, the ability to make something out of nothing, because a lot of the queens that participate in Reddit's Lip Sync for Your Life are queens of humble means. That's correct. And so now, in season four, it's boiled down to three queens, and just like World War II, it's a battle between the United States, France, and England. I I think we just have allies. We just have the Uh, allies. So there's no Germans, (laughs) no Japanese. Now that I think about it. No Russians involved yet. No Italians. But it's it's getting there. Well, where's Mikey from? America. He's American. The beautiful. God bless America. <laughs> so then, obviously I'm rooting for him because he's we have, super patriotic. Is it Marcella Fox or Marcella Fox? <laughs> it's uh, Marcella Fox is Either from way, she's a London. She's from, from London. London. <laughs> That's right. That was an Australian accent. And then there's uh, Calypso Overkill, our Parisian queen. How do you say overkill in, in Francais? Over. Over is a... Uh, Supre le monde. It's like... Oh. Sir? Sir Mert. Sir Mert. So so it's like this is like Mert. Over it. So why don't we start talking Abundance. about the Parisian drag queen Calypso Overkill? Oh, She's yeah. from France. And she, she lip synced uh, well uh, okay. in her final competition, she lip synced Where Have You Been by Rihanna. Yeah. Yeah. And, and fun thing, huh. she was actually uh in last season too. She um, was um How well did she do in season three? She did pretty well at the beginning part of it before she got eliminated. Well, that's great that you can just, you know, you can, like, do it one year and just come back again and I do think, it the next year. Yeah. That, did you do that, too? Was that your, your I, story arc? Or you just did it once? I did it one time. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're, it was so We're good, not going to punish her They for crowned that. her the winder to get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at how well that's worked out for them. 
They're hearing from me still. So let's talk about Calypso's Overkill's final video. Yeah. It's um, amazing because she's French, but she actually could lip sync in another language. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah, you try lip syncing in French. Well, Mark can actually, if you search for Edith Piaf and... Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, and On Feast YouTube. of Fools channel, you can see Mark lip syncing to Edith Piaf in yeah. French. Mark, is it hard to lip sync in French? Well, once you've like kind of memorized the song, then you know it and yeah. you can do it. And so that's what I did. I just listened to it over and over again until I, I knew it. And then just... But I also knew what she was saying, too, because I studied French. Or you can just watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. cantaloupe, cantaloupe. But, but in French, you're like, aubergine, aubergine, aubergine. <laughs> so I really appreciated her garbage bag black ground, which we later found out yeah. was made with cellophane, like a black cellophane. It caught the oh, yeah. light really well. Yeah. And um, that was really pretty. What I thought was interesting and that's too is it. she does the, the, the <laughs> contour with the nose. The contour with the nose, which looks brilliant in club lighting, but then when you see her at the metro, because that's how they call it in France, they call it le metro. It's like you can see like it's all dark down here. So it's it's interesting to see how one drag look can look great. Uh, at night, and then during the day, not so much. Okay. And yeah. it was great to see her even at the Metro. Oh, yeah. You know, like, that's crazy. I love I love seeing drag queens in public, crowded places. Mm -hmm. uh, just because I think there's, there's like, an element of, like, exciting hate crime in the air. <laughs> like, somebody like, could pull out a knife at any minute and be like, Ow! Oh, you just killed our guest! It's too bad I don't have a heart. So, it's all gonna work out. Don't worry, kids. Stone Waters is alive and well. For now. Okay, so so we got Maybe to see in her video nightclub footage, her wearing a blue wig in the daytime and a pink wig in the nighttime. There was that cool color shot that she did where she was like walking through like a topiary where it was kind of like processed. It was a gradient, uh, yeah, a gradient overlay. I, I'm not sure the terminology for that, but it, that so, was stunning. So like black became green and white became pink, and and then it just there looked very uh, '70s psychedelic. It was really cool. It's a cheap effect, but it worked really well. <laughs> We're all cheap effects here. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, at the end of the video, she thanks her fans. In it, quotation marks. In quotation marks. And I love it. I love it. Because we're like... It's tongue in cheek. Fans. The fans, meaning, you know, the 10 people that are watching it. <laughs> Mostly, I'm just so impressed with how much she's grown. I mean, like, I saw her in mm -hmm. the season I hosted last year in season three. She was great then. And then this season, she's grown so much. Really a fantastic performer. Mm -hmm. Love to see her live. When they say you grew a lot, it means that you, you really sucked. sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but now you don't suck as much. You don't suck, uh, new, Mickey. You suck your pa. So let's move on to uh, Mickey from the United States. Mm, Mikey. MTD Mikey MTD 1988. Uh, I'm not sure what was the song that he chose. He chose a bunch of medley. It was a it was a medley. Say all my of, name. Yeah, that was the like Ting the bulk of it. Uh, and Destiny's Child. And he also did um, Say Eminem. My name and, oh yeah, what my name is who? My, my name, name is, is what? Who? My name is Mama Marcella Fox. And and so. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I appreciated his uh, do-it-yourself t-shirt yeah. thing when he wrote his name, Mikey, in case you didn't know who it was. Mm -hmm. Right. And his lip syncing is great. He's he's a fantastic performer, and he's proven that over the course of this season mm -hmm. with really tight lip syncs. Well, what's interesting about this last challenge, though, is because normally when you, for those of you who haven't been watching, uh, it's usually one single camera when the people do their lip sync. Cause one otherwise, take. One take, and so that's how it goes. And this was you were able to do multiple takes. And I don't. he did do a little intro, but then he basically just did one take when he did it. So uh, It was like traditional lip whereas sync the in Whereas the other girls, yeah. they did like... A whole music video. Yeah. You know? And when you're up against drag queens, it's really, they're so visually compelling, it's really hard to compete. Because look at me right now. I'm just like a dude. But put on a wig and everything's better. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. See? I know who to give my vote to now. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> Not me. Give me dollars. Would you, oh, who would, you, who would you give a dollar to? Give, who would you give a dollar to? Me? <laughs> a beautiful drag queen. With a beautiful, stunning, full set of hair, which is all my own. Or two less beautiful drag queens. Yeah. Not that. Okay, so, so anyway. For Mikey, I, I, you know, it was, it was hard to stand apart from the other queens because everybody else is putting all these costumes on. Mm -hmm. And he's just do, wearing a do-it-yourself shirt. And he's kind of like a, a, he likes the white t-shirts. He likes the Fruit of the Looms. That's mm -hmm. his, like, thing. But, you know... Fruit of the Loom white t-shirts is a very generic look compared to all these queens who are 
you know, painting with all the crayons. I would have liked to have even if like, I mean, I, I don't think the approach is wrong. I just think that I would have liked to see even different color backgrounds, Mm -hmm. like, like a red sheet, a black sheet, a blue sheet with maybe a different shirt each time. And like that, I think would have brought the same energy. Are you saying that (laughs) color (laughs) makes videos more interesting Mm -hmm. and helps distinguish Characters that may look like each other. Well, do you I'm think, the mad one. Do you think maybe he may have suffered from a little video fatigue? Because this is a long contest. It's that like 12 long, right? weeks or, uh, you know, 12 different things. Every week you got to do hard something. you got a couple weeks, so it's got to be really hard for everybody. And so you, know, you got a little fatigued. Uh, what kind of advice would you guys give Mikey in, on how to improve his videos? Definitely, it's like, think about costuming. Because when you lip sync, people... They Make it want visual. to see something. It has to be visual. And your lip syncing was totally on point. It was with you 100% of the way. But, uh, you know, would it kill you to put a little blush on? Yeah, <laughs> live a little. I think, I mean, I, I, I think that a lot of people sometimes think that this is just a lip syncing competition. And in reality, it is also a video making competition. So an engaging video mm-hmm. is not necessarily going to be reliant fully on the lip sync. And, like, I think he's so fantastic. He's earned his spot here. But at the same time, will it be enough to earn a number one vote for a video? I, it's gonna be a, he's gonna ha, he's gonna be the Roxy Andrews of a season. He's gonna <laughs> influence a lot of people, but ultimately he's not gonna win. He's gonna oh. get left at a bus stop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. So uh, and finally, uh, the w- the one we think is probably the front runner is Marcella Fox from London. Uh, she was lip syncing the 1990s hit song. Don't Want to Fall in Love by Jane Child. Oh, that now, was the throwback to my college child. days, you know? Uh, I like the videos because it, it looks like Coco Peru in her early days as a sex worker in London's West End. <laughs> I just love the energy. It felt like, I mean, it felt purely like a music video to me. All the different locations, but mostly the energy of it. Uh, she was like twirling around, jumping. Mm-hmm. The editing was on point. Mm-hmm. Uh, was she the queen that did the throwback to all her other looks, or was that? That's the, that's right. That's oh yeah, her. that's right. Yeah. So that's nice because it was like it incorporated a lot of stuff from the uh, the stuff that she'd already done, and it really it meshed so well with the music. It's a nod to the fact that this is a journey. Yeah. To me. You hear that in the background? That's Jesse lapping up water because <laughs> he's thirsty. Thirsty for the tea. Um, so I really appreciated the payoff of her video because a lot of these queens don't think about the experience of watching the video mm-hmm. and how at the end we want to be rewarded with a little surprise. Totally. And so I don't want to give it away, but it made me fall in love with Aww. her. Get it? Very For the people who have seen it, they're like, oh, that's clever. It is. And so, well, that's the kind of things you, when you do this kind of thing, you want a narration, you want a story, you want a story arc, and you want like a, an ending. It doesn't have to be a sweet ending, but it has to be a memorable ending. It's how you're ending this competition. Mm-hmm. I don't know if a lot of people, I mean, I think you should definitely consider it. I'm sure that's why she ended the video that way, because mm-hmm. it ends on a positive note. Uh, makes me want to see more from her. And whoever wins this competition is going to be hosting... For the next season. The next season for the whole summer. And really, at the end of the day, it's like, who do you want to see do that? Who do you think will be the best host? So how do people vote? Do you, do you, people just send an email. email to like, MsGloriousOneSong at um, gmail.com. I think just your top vote and a, a vote for Miss Congeniality, if you are so inclined. Um, so um, I would like to say that uh, a standout moment of the entire competition of season four was uh, Calypso's... Um, I'm sorry, Marcella Fox. Marcella Fox's pie plate fantasy. (laughs) Uh, So she got these sort of uh, metallic pie plates and constructed herself a costume that looked like uh, the robot from Metropolis. Right. Yeah, that was mm. cool. And so, and she's singing to the song uh, um, "Goodbye Horses" from Silence of the Lambs, which <laughs> yeah. always ties in my favorite sort of oh, horror yeah. film. Uh, you know, I love that movie. Uh, what is it? Transphobic horror film mm. tribute. Rub the lotion on your skin, girl. Yeah. It puts the it puts the video on the YouTube, or else it doesn't get the votes again. The weird thing about though the whole like if it puts the lotion on its skin or gets the hose again, why didn't he just get a hose that shot lotion, you know? <laughs> Has budget. Well, you know. <laughs> he, he has that big house with the big basement with the well, but I mean... A little spray bottle. He has to take that. care of that cute little dog. Oh, Precious. <laughs> Pre- just so you know, Precious is dead. 
The dog? Yeah. Oh, it's long dog. Yeah. That little cat and hang in there, baby. You heard the word dog. Okay, <laughs> so uh, there's three contestants. Uh, we need to say who we're rooting for. Oh, sure. Well, I'm rooting for all of them, for sure. Yeah, I mean, everyone did a great job. job. Listen, they did 12 weeks of this stuff. Yeah. Let's give round of applause, applause. Give it up. Give it up for the three of them. It's a lot of hard work. one can be the winner of Reddit's Lip Sync for Your Life mm -hmm. Season 4. Right. There are only three clowns standing before us, and I've only got one screen grab in my hands. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> let's work. Maybe that we should award them not in the quality of their lip sync or their videos, but how funny the puns we can make based on their names. <laughs> MTD, 1988. Bet you wish you were a little bit more like Taylor Swift's mm -hmm. 1989. Uh, that you, uh, I'm sorry, MTV 1988, but you made us want to cancel our cable subscription. Mm -hmm. You're up for elimination. Yeah. And this is your award, though, because everybody gets an award. You get an egg beater, because next time, beat your face a little bit. That's drag. Whoa. <laughs> okay, um, let's do uh, Calypso Overkill from Paris, France. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Calypso Overkill, you had us uh, moving to an exotic rhythm, but ultimately you set the bar too low and we could not go under your performance. <laughs> I'm trying here, people. Although I have to say your award is this knife because you're really killing it. Calypso Overkill, you really didn't kill it during this <laughs> conniption? Conniption <laughs> fit. <laughs> Calypso Overkill. You didn't really start turning it or killing it until the last few weeks. Do you think that you're going to just skirt under the wire here and win? And then last but not least, Marcella Fox from the UK. Uh, Marcella Fox, the hunt was on and you let us capture your vixenness. <laughs> these uh, reads are so rough. We should have written these ahead of time. We need we need a like Paul's writer. I yeah. do have your award though. I have this cleaver because you smashed the competition, girl. So yes, congratulations, you Marcella Fox. We don't you know if you're gonna win. Winner. You gotta get the votes. I encourage you. Well maybe she might not win. Marcella Fox, will you please Brexit the stage? <laughs> <laughs> what did good. the Marcella Fox say? Nothing, because she lip synced. Real. <laughs> but Real I, I gotta say, it, it was a hard competition, and yeah. anybody competing against Marcella Fox had a really insurmountable challenge. Uh, we, we don't know who actually is going to win. No. no. We're just making our recommendations. Yeah. Get your I'm, votes out. So there. hopefully, the Marcella wins it because we're recommending her. But uh, anybody who wins will be happy with whoever wins. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. Everyone should be really proud of all the work they did all summer. Because you could have been doing other things. Yeah. You could have been working a job and paying your bills. Instead, yeah. you entertain people for free. <laughs> Thank you so much. From the bottom of our hearts. <laughs> Thank you. I love you all. And remember, Cooking with Drag Queens with Joan Waters is going to be premiering in September. Mm -hmm. oh, Honey bunnies. Just in time for back to school. It's going to be a pizza party. Woo-woo. And you're going to get yourself stuffed. So oh. your grades better be good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love you. Mwah, 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 mwah.